This Silicon Valley company, NanoSolar, has attracted an investment of $500 million to make a new generation of solar panels. Its investors are betting on one thing. The sheer size of the market, electricity is a trillion dollar industry, where we even if we capture a percentage of that, it's a, it's a huge business. Traditional solar panels are made from semiconducting silicon cells. It's a delicate and complex industrial process. Nanosolar is one of the new thin film solar companies. <laughs> they manufacture their panels not from fragile silicon wafers, but from ink. Here at Nanosolar, we start with a nanoparticle ink. Uh, it is made up of copper, indium, gallium, diselenide, or SIGs for short. The liquid ink is deposited in micron thin layers onto metal foil, then heated to convert it into a semiconductor. This is what you end up with. Uh, this is the final product. The dark area is the ink or the semiconductor material. And on the back here, the metal foil that we started with. You see that it's very thin, it's flexible, and uh, you're creating electricity. The result a solar cell that's nearly as efficient as silicon and a lot cheaper. It's like printing a newspaper, a very long newspaper. This tool produces uh, rows that are one mile long, and we produce many rows of those per day. And that's a gigawatt of power, a basically a nuclear power plant's worth of power per year. Right now, this thin film is covered with thick glass sheets. The company has to guarantee buyers that this new material will last as long as silicon panels. The glass adds expense, but protects the film from the elements. As a result, these panels aren't as cheap as they could be. Still, they're sold out for the next three years. And there are many potential clients even just down the road in Silicon Valley. Google has already invested in solar to power its large campus and save money on electric bills. We installed these panels for several reasons. One of them was to help the environment, but the other is to save money. These panels will actually pay for themselves in about seven and a half years. After seven and a half years, we're getting what's essentially free electricity from these panels and they'll continue to generate electricity for you know 25 to 30 years.